If you want to create these really cool photo text effects in Google Slides, then watch this video and I'll show you how to do it. It's possible to do this in Google Slides. It's not as easy as in PowerPoint, but if you follow this technique, then it's, it's reasonably straightforward to do. First thing you do, I'm gonna give myself a blank slide. And what I need to do is put some text in. Now, the thing with this technique is there's only one font this will work. You want a hollow font. You want a font that actually has a solid background and the font itself is, is see-through, which is kind of weird. So I'm gonna put a text box in and I type in my words. Let's say we're gonna do ocean. And the font that I need to choose from here is something called Zilla Slab Highlight. If that's not there, go on more fonts and search for it. So if you go to Zilla, then you'll see Zilla Slab Highlight and just click on OK. I've already got it here. So I'm going to click on here and choose Zilla Slab Highlight. Um, and you'll see it's like an inverse font. It's got black background and see-through letters. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to make the font bigger. So let's make that 160-point font and just stretch out my text box there like so. So that should fit in there okay. Also, because I want more of the picture to show through, I'm going to make that font bold as well. So you should give it more. I mean, if you want to play around, I could probably make that a little bit bigger actually. So let's sort of fine tune and start just increasing the size there. Let's go as big as I really can. So I've got my font there, nice and big. What I'm then going to do is insert an image. So I'm going to go insert image, search from web. Little box will pop up on the side here. I'm going to choose the word ocean. Let's do a search. Let's look down through here. Maybe that one looks quite a nice one. So let's click on ocean and insert. And it'll put the picture on top. What I'm then going to do is send that picture to the back. So if I do a right click and order and centre back, it's now behind my writing. You can kind of see what it would look like. If you want to, you can kind of move this around a little bit. Use maybe the arrow keys to get it looking how you like. If you want a particular part of the image, maybe you can sort of just use arrow keys here to nudge this up and down a little bit. So I'm going to use crop tool. I'm going to crop down and crop from the bottom up, crop from the sides as well if you want. Hit return and that'll crop the image to match it. Now what we've got at the moment is we've still got the black there. So if you don't want the black, you could highlight that. Also we think this is font color, so we can change the font color to be white. But I might want to change the color so let's not have a white background and a white font. Let's change it to a darker blue. So let's highlight my writing here. I'm going to click on the font color and I'm going to change that to this dark blue just here. I'm going to do the same thing to the page color. Right click, change background. Let's click on the blob there. And let's change it to that darker blue and done. And I've got writing on a nice blue background, which is kind of cool. So there's an easy way there to do a font with an image inside it. All you need to do is choose that Zilla Slab font and then make sure your image is sent to the back and then your image will work really nicely like that. I hope you find that useful. I'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Goodbye. <music>